Today on MTG Unpacked, it's time for another Commander Snack. So this is the series where we highlight a particular Commander card. So that's a legendary creature. And we crack a bunch of packs and see if we can pull cards of the same tribe. So today we have Grim Grin Corpspawn. So let's take it out of the sleeve, get a closer look at that. So this is a mythic. Legendary Creature Zombie Warrior 5-5 five, five for 5. Grim Grin Corpspawn enters battlefield tapped and doesn't untap during your untap step. Sack another creature, untap Grim Grin and put a plus one plus one counter on it. And whenever he attacks, destroy target creature defending player controls, then put a plus one plus one counter on Grim Grin. So the goal with this guy is you just keep beefing him up over time until you have a ridiculously huge Zombie Warrior. So that sounds like a ton of fun. Leave a note in the comments if you have a Grim Grin deck in EDH. Okay, and with me to do the pack blessings, we have Liliana, so let's take care of that. And the patron today is Jonathan Vogel saying, thank you for being a patron, sir. And you can see he already did rather well with the patron snap packs this month. Okay, so what order are we gonna do? Like, uh, we'll do that. That and that. Okay. So, the patrons get the rares, mythics, foils, anything over a buck. And in this series, also, we're looking for the tribes. So, zombies or warriors. So, we'll keep an eye out for those. And if you've missed the other videos in this series, I'll pop a link to the playlist up in the corner there. You can check it out, see which other commanders we've highlighted. We start off with Moat Piranhas, Fire Elemental, Angelic Gift, Feral Abomination, Vorst Claw, Destructive Digger Creature Goblin, fantastic, but no goblins alas today, Griffin Protector, Stone Golem, Leafkin Druid, Frostlinx, and Uncommon's Eternal Isolation. Vampire of the Dire Moon, Corpse Knight. Yes, here we are. So we get a Zombie Knight. So that definitely counts. Not the misprint, alas. And a Mythic. Yes, it's Kaikar, Winds Fury. Legendary Creature, Bird Wizard, 3-3 three, three for 4 with Flying. Whenever you cast a non-creature spell, create a 1-1 one, one White Spirit Creature Token with the Flying and Sack a Spirit. Add 1 Red Mana. Very cool. Okay, so we'll have the, we'll get the creatures up the top there, and then rares mythics in the middle, and a forest and a zombie token. Okay, moving right along, War of the Spark, lots of zombies in this one as well. Fingers crossed we can pull some more for Jonathan today. We start off with a Battlefield promotion. Sky Theater Strix, Blind Blast. Loxodon Sergeant, Crunch Wrangler, Creature Human Warrior, so it's a warrior, I'm going to chuck it in there, Kaya's Ghost Form, Snare Spinner, Trusted Pegasus, Arlen's Wolf, Nahiri's Stone Blades, and Uncommon's Leyline Prowler. Dreadhorde Twins Zombie Jackal Warrior. So you get the zombie and warrior aspect there. Your Planeswalker, which I'll also include Teo the Shield Mage. And the rare is Soul Diviner. Creature Zombie Wizard. That fits right in. 2 3 for 2. Tap, remove a counter from an artifact creature land or Planeswalker you control, and you get to draw a card. Alright. And a Mountain and an Angel token. Moving on to Guilds of Ravnica, you'll notice there's no Ravnica Allegiance. I don't think that had any zombies in it. Although I probably should have checked for warriors. But uh, zombies are more interesting to me. Ornery Goblin, Creature Goblin Warrior. Yes, he goes in. Skyline Scout, Wall of Mist, Hitchclaw Recluse, Spinal Centipede, Centaur Peacemaker. Whisper Agent, Capture Sphere, Erstwhile Trooper, and this is a Zombie Soldier, Maniacal Rage, 
And Uncommons, Ledev Champion, Guild Summit, Legion, Guild Mage, and the rare is Iron Eyes. Instant for three, counter target spell. Iron Eyes deals two damage to that spell's controller. And a is it Guild Gate and an Insect Token. Okay, on to Dominaria. Some nice zombies in here. I think there's also Warriors, so that will work out nicely. And this is getting near the end of its life now, as is Corset 2019. These will be rotating soon, but in Commander, we don't care. So that is fantastic. We have Invoke the Divine, Vodalian Arcanist, Radiating Lightning, Pierce the Sky, Divest, Death Bloom Thalad, Shivan Fire, Sparring Construct, Gideon's Reproach, Lanawar Elves and Uncommon's Icy Manipulator Seal away! Oath of Teferi is the rare! Okay, that tricked me. Legendary Enchantment for 5. When Oath of Teferi enters the battlefield, that's how another target permanent you control. Return it to the battlefield under its owner's control at the beginning of the next end step. You may activate the loyalty abilities of Planeswalkers because you control twice each turn rather than only once. That's a nice pull. And Slim Nivoda, the Rising Deep. That's another legendary creature and a mountain and an emblem of Teferi. And I will be going through during editing and checking the values here. Never fear. And incidentally, so we'll go on to Corset 2019. Uh, these uh, videos are part of the patron tier, the legendary Jackalope tier. So if you want to get in on this action here, you can check that out. I'll leave a link to the Patreon in the description for this video. Next pack we have Talarian Scholar, Act of Treason, Knight's Pledge, Mind Rot. I have warned you people over and over again, but you always ignore me. This channel will rot your mind. If you keep watching the videos, it will actually cure it and you'll be fine. So just keep watching, people. Daggerback Basilisk. Walking Corpse. There we are. So there's a zombie for the collection. Snapping Drake. Gearsmith Guardian. Druid of the Cowl. Smelt. Skilled Animator. First of the Uncommons. Arcane Encyclopedia. Aerial Engineer, and rare is Mentor of the Meek. Creature, Human, Soldier, 2-2 two, two for 3. Whenever another creature with the power 2 or less enters the battlefield under your control, you may pay 1. If you do, draw a card. Okay, add that to the rares, and a Mountain, and an Ox token. Okay, final pack here. And then we'll do a bit of a tally to see how many creatures we got in Grimgorn. Grimgorn. Grim Grins Corpse Spawn Army. Okay, Core 2020. And I see something fun already. We have a Goblin Bird Grabber Creature Goblin. 2 1 for 2. Pay a red. Again, it's flying until end of turn. Activate this ability only if you control a creature with flying. Okay, but alas, he is not a zombie or a warrior. Aerial Assault. Convolute Goblin Smuggler. There we are. Looking forward to a Goblin Commander video at some point. That'd be cool. Soul Salvage Thicket Crasher Murder Anvil Rot Raptor Chandra's Ember Cat. So I think that one came up last time with the Elementals. Uncommons Captivating Gyre Season of Growth. Devout Decree, and the rare is Bag of Holding. It's an artifact for one. Whenever you discard a card, let's sell that card from your graveyard for two. Tap, you get to draw a card, then discard a card. For four, and tap, Sack Bag of Holding. Return all cards that sold with Bag of Holding to their owner's hand. And a Foil Rare, nice. Embodiment of Agonies, Creature Demon 00 for three. As Flying and Death Touch. And it enters Battlefield with a plus one plus one counter on it for each different mana cost among non land cards in your graveyard. Alright, there we are. Very cool to get a foil, rugged highlands, and an elemental token. Okay, so I think we have done rather well today for Jonathan. Let's tally it up. So we got one, 
two, three, four, five, and six in Grim Grin's army. All right, so leave a note in the comments what you think of Grim Grin. Have you got a commander deck with this guy? Or another zombie? Leave a note in the comments. And I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, give it a thumbs up, hit the subscribe button for more Magic the Gathering unboxings, and be sure to tap the notification bell to be notified as soon as new videos are released. Thanks for watching, and have a great day.